it's pretty common around here in these parts that you do seasonal tire changes. So I just have my all season radial tires put back onto the 16 Santa Fe. So now I have these four winter tires, which I used to call snow tires growing up, but they call them winter tires up here, that I need to do something with because I don't have a lot of space here uh, for this kind of nonsense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these tires I think up there and I'm gonna do that with this little rack that I bought this is the Moto Master tire rack and support supposedly it will hold four tires uh, you look at this and you wonder how it's because when you put it together it actually you can expand it and contract it and it has lag screws come with it and those lag screws will go into the studs up there I may have to move my extension ladder but I can move it to the other wall and I want to put these tires up there and regain some floor space all right I do believe that I can get my tire rack to fit up here I actually moved my chest freezer out of the way Got my step ladder out, got a tire. Yes, I should have mentioned they are wrapped in plastic, which is one of the nice things about when they do the tire swap for you, they seal them up. Um, the downside is, is these were a little bit wet when they went in. But anyways, um, I can get my rack up there. So this is basically a mock-up of what it's going to look like. So just on the bench, kind of propped up over here on either end. And then you put these expandable rods. You can see here that these rods, which will uh, screw in on each end with and these bolts, then there's a lock washer that goes in there as well. These can expand. And so I'll measure it out so that I know exactly what I'm gonna need to fit four tires on there. Uh, then I'll take one of these uh, end pieces. These actually just, See if I can do this without knocking everything down. Uh -huh. This just folds up like so. And now I have something I can take up the ladder with me and mark out on the stud where the lag holes go. Lag screws get drilled, uh, the pilot holes. And then I'm basically ready to, to hang that thing up bolt it together and throw my tires up there yeah I think it's gonna work change of plans as it often goes when you're DIYing it so I wanted to hang my tire rack up here we have an issue though you can probably tell from where the um, mud marks where they filled two holes right there and uh, where this stud is right here so you got here's a stud 16 inches on center there's a stud there is nothing in between here there's a stud and then you have over to the corner so if i mount in the corner 48 inches is in between studs if i mount here it's in between studs over there that is not going to work so we're gonna have to change plans all right so there's my mock-up actually on the bench I'm looking at the opposite wall in the garage and you can see I have my bicycle hanging up here. I think I'm going to have to move that perhaps uh, over to where I initially wanted to hang the tire rack because I think it'll fit over there. Um, and then use this wall to hang the tires up on because I've got more standard uh, studs. Let me see if you can... It's one of the nice things about having an unfinished garage wall. Whoever the people were renting this from, they didn't bothered to actually finish out all the walls so here we are but you can see more standard in terms of where the studs are easy to see so I think I'm gonna have to take the bike down and put the rack up there all right so I have the bicycle down all right, just that's sitting over there for now I'll put it up on the other side of the garage here in a little bit uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just, from from this seam here to that one right there is 48 inches, um, which is what I can hang this rack on. So my next step here, I guess, is to get up there, 
mark where I want each of these to hang, drill some pilot holes and get ready for the lag screws, and then put it up there. Okay, so you can see I've got the first thing bracket hung. It's held in by three lag screws. I did check my level, so I remained straight up and down, vertically level. It may look a little off with the wall because it's not quite true, but the bracket is indeed level by the level. So next up will be to come over here, install the other one, and then I'll start assembling the uh, these little pipes that will actually be holding the tires up there. Well, actually the tires will sit on them, so. All right, we're getting there. Now, in order to make sure that we've got these hung at the same basic, pretty much the same, you know, height, I'm gonna measure from this seam, uh, which is pretty doggone close, all the way across. That is 19 and a half inches right there. So I'll go to the bottom of that. So I'll go from there here, 19 and a half inches, and uh, that'll be the bottom of this rack, and uh, I'll scribe the, the spots or mark the spots where I need to drill 3 16 hole, pilot hole, and then we'll start uh, hanging it up and tapping it with those three uh, leg screws. both both of those mounting brackets up there now 
So I'm going to fit the pipes across there, get them uh, all tightened up. There's some bolts top and bottom of the back of those brackets that need to be tightened up to keep them from wobbling this way too much. Then we'll put these expandable pipes in there and I'll mount them in. You can see there, maybe you can't, but there's holes. Well, there we go. A hole there, 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 there. Uh, there's five, sorry. Five holes across these. And uh, so with tires my size, I need to put the pipe in. Oh, let's see what the books say. It says, uh, found it. I need to put mine in two and five, given my tire size, the diameter of my tires. All right, as I mentioned before, uh, there are holes in the bottom, across the bottom of that. I need to put my pipes in uh, two and five and uh, on both sides. The way this works is you have these pretty good sized bolts, a uh, little spring washer, also known as a lock washer. Uh, it will go through the outside of that and come in. And these pipes are threaded on the ends. So pretty simple. Uh, design so now it's just time to execute There it is basically installed i'm going to go up and make sure that those bolts on those little brackets are actually tight at the three corners uh the three angles of those triangles and then i'll hoist the tires up there and hopefully they'll fit four across there and uh yeah i guess you'll find out in just, in just a, a flash fun fact they gave me an allen wrench it fits all the bolts that we we had in those up there and the pipes and whatnot but on the corners where i have to let's see if i can point here tighten up bolts this allen wrench fits the bottom one of those but it's a completely different size on the top one of those and of course they didn't give me one of those so now i got to go to my toolbox and i know it's only a step and a half away but i use my own allen wrench so Bear that in mind, even though they say they're going to give you all the tools you need, they don't always give you all the tools you need. folks brackets mounted into the wall studs pipes on two and five and if you were an astute viewer you noticed when I put these in when I put this pipe in 
I actually put it in the wrong hole. I needed to do two and five, not two and four. So I took that back out, put it in the right place. There's my off-season tires perched up there. I got plenty of space between the top of my bench and there. And actually, the cool thing is, it gives me another place to put a magnet light to shine down on my bench when I'm working down here in the dark of winter. I'm pretty pleased with that. So, yeah, there it is. Well, there you have it, folks. I got myself a rack to hold my off-season tires. So, those are my winter tires. I just had my normal all-season radials put back on, as I've already mentioned. So, I needed a place to get it up off the floor so I'm not clogging up my entire garage. That works great. I did run into the issue where I had to change my plan a little bit, as is often the case when you're DIYing. Did a little measuring on the wall where I thought I would put it. And uh, as it turned out, I wouldn't be able to hit studs on both sides with the lag screws. So I took my bicycle down. I'll move it across and uh, suspend it from the ceiling on the other side. And uh, yeah, hung that baby up. Now, some of you may be a little disappointed that this is not a 100% true DIY job. I get that. I actually purchased that rack. Uh, I didn't make that rack. Although, just looking at the construction of it, I thought of a number of ways that I could actually uh, make something very similar to that with just a handful of items from the hardware store and probably could have saved some money. I believe that rack cost me $50 and I probably could have made it for a little less than $50 uh, depending on where I bought my supplies. But I was in a bit of a hurry and I needed to get it done so I felt like that was the way to do it. I guess the DIY part is the fact that I put it up there by myself literally by myself, which ought to be a clue that it's really not that hard to do if you buy one of these things. It, it can be done. It's a one-person job. So, you know, next time, uh, or if I had a little bit more time, I should say, I probably could have uh, could have made something. Maybe some of you have, and if you have, share it down in the comments and uh, link to your, to, your, uh, to your solutions, and uh, I'd be happy to kind of see what you've got. All right, take care.